enjoyed the unboxing and assembling process now let's get this device up and running by uploading the necessary codes to start you will need a micro sd card for installing the os connect it to your computer download the raspberry pi imager and install this 32-bit legacy one choose the micro sd card go to settings and enable ssh set a username and password of your choice don't forget these as they are crucial for upcoming steps write down your wi-fi name and password and save them. Now click on the right button. This may take some time. After completion, insert the card into the Raspberry Pi and power up the robot. Then open the command prompt on your PC and type ssh your username at the rate raspberrypi.local. Enter the password you set earlier to gain the access to the car. Now execute these commands listed one by one. You will find all these complete installation guide on this URL. Next we need to enable the I2C devices. Type sudo space respy config, navigate to interface options, go to I2C devices and enable it. Now for the final step, zeroing the servo motors. First detach all the motor from their horns, remove any servo and connect it to the P30 pin. Open the command prompt and run this command. Now repeat this process for all servo motors. After completing this, reassemble everything and secure them with some screws. Finally you can run the robot. Once again open the command prompt and access the robot. Type ls, hit enter, then cd pycarx, ls again, cd examples and once more ls. Here you will find various programs to interact with the robot car, such as bullfight, app control, video car, keyboard control and more. To run any program, use the command sudo space python3 followed by the program name. For instance, to run the keyboard control, type the corresponding command. Now you can control the car from your computer using the keyboard. Moving on, there is obstacle avoidance mode.
Additionally, there is a video car mode where you can view the live video on your computer and control the car with your keyboard. You can also control it with your smartphone using SunFounder controller app. Next we have computer vision. With this mode it can detect colors, read QR codes, detect faces and more. Finally we have text to speech functionality. To activate this run the following command. If you press C it will produce a honk sound. By pressing T, it will perform a text to speech and you can also play songs. To change the text to speech output, execute the command nano3.tts-example.py. Scroll to this section and input any words such as hello, nice to meet you, save the file after making changes. Now if we press T, we can observe that text to speech output is changed. These are just few examples, there are many more to explore and you can even create your own codes to customize this robot. Initially, I installed this FFC cable incorrectly so here is the correct method. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, the links for this robot are in the description so make sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts or ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video, until then bye bye.